Let them check out what's happening here. <laughs> this joker showed up here with a bag full of steaks, man. Those steaks I showed on video the other day. We got them thawing out. We're going to do a little grilling and a little low country ball. Yeah, man, we can just grill them right here on this. Man, Just we just take it slow and easy. So I don't have a grill grill here yet. We did have one, but it, the salt ate it, man. That's the thing here, dude. Salt, salt eats everything. Yeah. yeah. So this staircase they pulled today. It, it, it got it poured up. Oh, uh, is this the one that they poured? Yeah. So that's the staircase, the walls and the sides, all the way around. It's like a whole room and a staircase all in one pour. Mm. You know how much that cost me in concrete to pour? About $80. What? Yep. That's why I keep trying to tell these people they think it costs me so much to build this 80. concrete house. So less, less than 5,000 pesos. Yeah. Less than 5,000 pesos. That's for all that concrete. And then, then you add you add the steel in there. I, I mean, I'm out a couple hundred bucks, you know, on this whole this whole thing. That whole, with the whole room and all underneath it. You can see right We just use this same old plywood again and again until no life left in it. But it turns and goes underneath there by some lights. They got to put one little form in tomorrow up in the top for a little roof piece. But we needed the walls again first. But yeah, that whole thing, these whole walls, all of that. I showed the receipts on the concrete today on a video. But man, these people just think that I'm spending massive money on it. But And when we finish it, it's smooth. You know, it's already smooth the, the texture. We didn't do nothing to this, just put skim coat on it. But that ain't the way they build here, you know. And it's ready for paint. Yeah, it's just ready. Yeah, my veteran's gonna be right there. Maybe I can hook a line all the way across, man. <laughs> These bananas right here, this all three, there was just three. That big one that the storm broke. And this, those washed up from a storm on the beach out there. Just little old small pieces of root. And y'all planted them. I, I brought them up like, here and stuck them in the ground. They grew up just like this. Yeah, this how big. Long, how long did it take? Uh, well, that was like last May. Last, so this is a year? Well, imagine how big this one was before the storm broke it. We're putting that wood like flooring down. We got it all in there right now. So it's all going to look like, it's, it's tall, but it looks like wood. I'll, sh I'll show it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. But it's got that beveled edge on it? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want no wood, wood floor in here. Not with all this humidity. I mean, I guess you could, but it's not what I want. But that's what we're going to do with all this area in here with. It's textured like wood, too, you know? Yes. I'm going to run it long through here. It was easy to clean. Yeah, and I want to run it up tight with no grout, 100% up, you know, so you don't have that grout mildewing you have to take care of and all so that. So what, uh, what are you sticking it with? Um, tile adhesive. But here's the thing, though, man. It's it's in some of my video. I don't know. It came out already. There had some other colors, some different shades, and I mixed those shades up there on their display in the store, and it looked good to mix those colors like a lighter shade and and different ones that was there because uh, maybe it looked good. more like a real plank floor uh, then yeah, that's what, what do you think yeah i think yeah to offset it and it'd be like and that kitchen right there in that hallway is getting a gray colored wood which is kind of common look for a beach house you know yeah uh, i'm excited to put all this down so daryl come here man uh, we're gonna do a little low country ball right here and 
some steaks. <laughs> Karaoke and steak. <laughs> We're gonna do this here straight. Oh, I can fit two on this, babe. Heck yeah. Your like the sun. Mate, Mo, don't sing it too good or we'll get copyright. As long as you sing bad, they don't know what the <laughs> shit that is. We don't get no copyright. Hey, I got a whole bag of charcoal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every time we buy charcoal, it's always by this small bag. Well, her mom hustles it over at her sorry, sorry small, store. It's, a lot of money it's expensive. That's how I love my cousin. I need some charcoal. They'll come back with like. That little, little that little bite, <laughs> yeah. And I'll uh, just go in and buy a whole thing and be done with it, man. Let's see what this smells like. You smell them? Smell them like steak. Oh, tell him don't turn them yet. Don't turn them yet. Oh, man. No, don't turn it yet. Got corn and potatoes. Potatoes are down underneath that corn's all floating up. Trust me, they're in there. And I uh, got the shrimp sitting here waiting. Of course, can't put that in. Will you open that box right there, Melly baby? Can't put that shrimp in until you cook these potatoes and corn for a while. What'd you do? Broke my, my Broke your nail? Because it's soft, you know, so it's in the water. Oh. Yeah, some, some zatarange right there. Little crab ball, see? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, so glad I got Daryl here. It spent some time living down in New Orleans. Tell you what, I would have cut all that stuff off the end right there. Maybe they were saving it for handles to eat with. So uh, we'll get this going here. I like to put a little citrus in it too. And so I'm gonna cut these and drop them in there. And then we're gonna put some olive oil in there as well. Top that off right there with some olive oil. Probably should have grabbed the jug. Oh, half empty her little container here. I think that'd be good enough though. That's pretty good. Alright. there man that is rolling man that is rolling i've been outside tending the meat i come back in i'm like holy cow i gotta go check that steak Woo. and i got these going here too i already got a couple here cooked up on the grill man oh man i'm kind of multitasking here i told daryl man take his girl and go out there to the beach man the sun setting and we have like the best beach. It may not be white sand. It might not be Boraca, Boraca, but it is a nice beach. One of the wonderful things about our beach is Boraca might have a sunset, but we have a sunrise and a sunset both. The way we are lined up here, the beach going east and west, and uh, and it kind of curves the way. Our island kind of curves in on the side right there, wraps back around. We get a east and west both, sunrise and sunset. So all that's been cooking long enough. The potatoes, the corn, and now we're gonna put in all this shrimp. Adding the magic ingredient here on top right now finish this one off some slap your mama right there boy check that out so we got zatarans and slap your mama this was the end of this one so that's a soldier down right there right soldier down hate to hate to say goodbye to you 
I appreciate all of the good food that you seasoned up for Mel and I here. And I just want you to know that we've appreciated every drop of your fineness. We're going to finish you here tonight. So rest well, my soldier. A wish list for Christmas, a bigger pot. <laughs> Man, I've got to go buy me a bigger pot here. I got those that big one back in Texas, man, you know. I got a huge one back in Texas, too. I was going to say, I should I sent it when I got there in Texas. I bet I can go up here in the city to the restaurant supply or something, or maybe even S&R. But I, there's some restaurant supply places here in the city, too. I need a big one. I love having a big old pot, man. I really don't want an aluminum one, though, but I'm going to see if I can find a big stainless. Now I'll buy one of those aluminum ones I have to. But, boy, right here... This is a hybrid. It's got Zatarans and Slappy Mama both in it. Man, I've got a little citrus off in here, some onion off in here, some olive oil in there, and then we got our corn and potatoes done cooked up. But this is our substitute crawfish right here. Hey, but ain't nothing wrong with shrimp either though, man. But I didn't have enough room to put all of them in there. I'm gonna have to put some like a second round, you know. We don't have no lights, so I gotta use light on the phone. We're out here eating in the dark. Man, guess we'll see you in Texas next time. You're gonna roll out, off to Elo Elo, and back to Dumaguete he goes. Man, I had such a good time with him. Take it easy, Daryl, man. Appreciate you both.